Hey everybody, PCB Junkie back with another quick video. Today I want to talk to you about uh, my adapter here and a couple of new images that I made for it. So this right here is the PJ adapter. This is a Raspberry Pi 2 jam adapter. I made a video on this uh, before. But uh, really what I want to talk to you about is the two new images that I have created for it. So um, let's boot this thing up and uh, while we're waiting, we'll talk about the images themselves. So the first image is a minimalist uh, standalone image. This is an image that um, I made a video on before as well. So this image is uh, basically just uh, the, the simplest possible, smallest image with the quickest booting time that I could achieve um, based on Raspbian light. And uh, the idea there was that uh, you'd get uh, the quickest boot time into a game directly without any sort of messages, with any interactive uh, game selection. And uh, the idea was that that would emulate an actual PCB inside of your arcade cabinet. So uh, this image uh, is actually now split into two. Uh, we'll discuss the second one, which is an enhancement on top of the minimalist standalone image. And uh, the game is now booting up. I believe this is going to be Kadash. Yes, it is. All right. So as you saw, it boots uh, directly into the game without any messages. Now there's a couple of enhancements uh, there. Now if there's any errors encountered along the way, you'll actually get them on the screen with the previous version. Uh, it just booted blind and you'd have to check the logs if anything went wrong and uh, you, you just get a black screen. But now uh, with the new enhanced version, we actually get the ability to uh, log errors and uh, we get to see them on the screen. So. So that's uh, that's a new enhancement to that image. But what I really want to talk to you about is the is the one with the enhancement with the mini launcher. So that's the second version of this. Uh, I've gotten some requests. People wanted the ability to switch between some games. Put a you know maybe like a dozen games on there with different variants or whatever of, of, of a game that's similar or what have you. Right? Uh, just whatever you really want to do with it, you can do. But uh, the launcher is a small, quick launcher. Again, kind of uh, fit in with the whole minimalist uh, standalone uh, idea. And uh, it just allows you to basically select uh, from a, a handful of games, right? So the way you would do this, oh, well, anyway, let's, let's just start this game and I'll show you exactly. So let me coin this up. Now we're just gonna start it up wait for the other player. I'm not actually going to be playing this, I just want to show you how you normally use this. So here's a game. Now let's say you get sick of this, you're done playing, All right? and uh, you want to quit. You want to quit out of this, so you would press, press start and coin. And if you do that, you get the uh, in-game menu, the advanced meme menu and you would simply exit and now that you've exited out of the game you will get the launcher and the launcher will allow you just quickly select the game you want to play so let's just pick let's say uh, double dragon three double dragon two all right once selected it becomes the permanent permanently selected game which means uh it'll always boot into this game again directly uh, without any interactive prompting uh, any messages whatsoever it'll boot blindly into this game until you do this again so you you get sick of this or whatever you do the same thing you press start coin you get that menu you exit and then you can select another game So that's it. That's the uh, that's the new image in a nutshell. Now there's a couple of uh, additional enhancements, stuff you probably won't see. Uh, there's uh, in addition to the login uh, functionality, there's uh, some uh, improvements, some bug fixes. Uh, I redid uh, the way that the files are arranged on disk, which will allow you now to put in your samples or what have you. So so yeah. So there's a bit of work that went into this and. Uh, 
I think this is uh, quite decent the way it is now, so I'll, I'll leave it at that. Uh, if there's any additional enhancements, we'll probably do them down the road, but uh, this looks uh, pretty good as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, so this is going to be it for this video. I just wanted to showcase this image uh, the way it works and uh, let you guys know that uh, uh, the feedback that you've given me is uh, being put into practice and uh i think this is gonna be it for this video so if you're interested in my project right here my raspberry pi adapter uh, my raspberry pi pajama adapter pj check that out or if you're interested in these images you can check them out as well they're gonna be on my webpage. the link is gonna be in the description and uh, if you like what i'm doing here you know what to do so that's gonna be it uh hope you enjoy this and i'll see you all on the next video bye everybody